Welcome everybody to another Beyond Bitcoin Hangout where you can power yourself up with your own tokens. Today is Saturday, September 30th, 2017, and this is Hangout number 226. We are still in the beta stages of Whale Tank Hangout and Whale Shares, so there will be cool things that do come in the future. But as of present, we have a couple cool things already where we like to benefit the individuals who have a little bit of interest in creating their own tokens and potentially leveraging them to help their own projects. Every week, people join up to the Whale Tank to talk about their projects, provide updates in what they're doing in the crypto space, and hopefully, they're also considering how they can leverage the creation of the token and the utilization thereof to not only empower others, but empower, or not only empower their project, but empower the other people who want to hold those tokens and leverage those tokens to help the project as well. This is one of the ways that I'm trying to incentivize people to play around in the sandbox, use these tokens, see what works, see what doesn't, and help us to document the process and the progress or sometimes the pitfalls. Um, the entire story thereof. Now, with that said, everybody who wants to post a project can go to the weekly RSVP threads at steamit.com forward slash at official fuzzy where I post the Hangouts and I, RS, I, I, I post the RSVP Hangouts, uh, Hangout threads, and I read Steam other people's content regarding this. And every week, these individuals who join up are allowed to RSVP. We ask them to get upvotes from people who are within the community and, with, and outside of the community to join up to do so as well. Uh, and the reason for this is it shows us that there are people within the ecosystem who are willing to upvote you and kind of step in and say, yes, I back this person. If you do not back a person um, and you do not believe in what they're doing, feel free to post an, uh, a reply as opposed to a flag, uh, giving information on what's doing, what is going on with the, the individual or the project at hand. And if there's something that ends up being important that we needed to know about, I will always gladly tip people who bring relevant information in a productive manner. Now, with that said, there are a few cool things that, you, that we offer with power-ups to people who do create their own tokens and post uh, the link to where it trades on the BitShares DEX. If you have a token and you are willing to distribute it to these Hangout attendees uh, and also have it on the BitShares DEX, you are able to double the chances of you becoming a f the first, or the, increase the chances of being in a preferable order, meaning the first, first, second, or third in these Hangout segments. And if you want to, you're going to have, <laughs> if you have uh, if you have a token, holding this token and posting the link to it will double your chances as one power-up. As the second power-up, we have 15 minutes that are established for every project to have as a base. However, you can earn extra minutes by share dropping on the people who are going to attend this hangout and are going to sign the guest list that I will provide. Now, if the community is interested in that share drop and wants a part of that share drop, and they say, yes, we can give you up to 10 uh, extra minutes to talk about what is going on. I will always consider whether the conversation is, it, whether the community is wanting to add extra minutes because of the conversation too, as well, <laughs> or just for the tokens. Uh, but we will definitely be able to offer you extra time if you want to leverage those tokens. And finally, we give out well over five, $600 a week in this, in this hangout alone, uh, historically, it's actually been well over $1,000 a week to the people who participate. And there is nowhere else that I think uh, that I can, that I know of that you can transparently do this in the Steam ecosystem and earn these tokens. So I urge everyone to consider joining up because those people who do have their own token who join up and provide the link for the final power up that we offer, um, you will be able to potentially earn 1,000 Beyond Bits, which is 
worth approximately $400 at present. So with that said, at the end of every week, whenever I choose that person, if you believe that your token is more valuable and that there might be an opportunity that, that you think that I missed, uh, you can always reach out to me and talk to me about it after the fact. And maybe, maybe I will change my mind. But if you do not have a token that you're leveraging, you will not be able to earn this thousand beyond this. However, I do take the amount that is earned and I distribute it to the people who join these hangouts as guest speakers. So with that said, if you would like larger payouts, consider trying to get the whale tank hangouts upvoted further. Tell people about them. Tell people about your project and send a link to the whale shares hangout. Do what you can to promote us because promoting us and what we're doing here is promoting everybody and also giving us the resources to continue paying you. Now, with that said, today the order of precedence has been established. Xanox from Rudex at $6.71. Nutella um, had some things that he was going to talk about with Descent at three minutes, and he is standing at $3.27. As Bunkles, is going to be talking about addressing Philippine problems monthly, and that is for uh, uh, that is hashtag for better Philippines on Steemit, and he is tied with Nutella and will come third. Voice shares a uh, fitness sessions will be following that, and that will be Ride of Passion. We will then follow this by GS Gaming, and we will cap off the day with the Marky Mark and his project build a whale updates so with that said i thank everyone who has joined up today and who joins every week and i thank you all for the little things that you do that help us all of you offer incredible value and all of you offer unique value so always try to consider how you can leverage that to help each other because that's how we form synergy and create ridiculous amounts of value now, with that said, Xanox, I'll go ahead and I'll ask you, are you ready to step up to the plate and give everybody an update on what's going on in the Rudex ecosystem? Sure. And um, I'd like to begin, um, well, you said uh, something about tokens. And uh, uh, if you guys know, uh, uh, Rudex team started as uh, a um, translation project for uh, posts uh, on Steemit and uh, for um, all the uh, things related to Witchers, to uh, Steam, to Graphene technology in general. Uh, and um, we were at some point, I think it was like uh, last December or maybe January uh, this year, we're considering uh, creating uh, tokens to uh, sell translation um, things. And uh, with the, this uh, uh, whole thing about community tokens, we might uh, consider uh, doing that actually, but uh, it's something that I just wanted to say for a while, kind of. Uh, historical reasons. Yeah, we have a team of translators and uh, we uh, have quite a bit of people who uh, ask us to translate things and uh, yeah, we, at some point we were, when we started, we were thinking about how to monetize what we are doing because, uh, you know, uh, most of things we do, we do for, uh, you know, Steam uploads and Golas uploads and uh, sometimes they uh, give you nice payout and uh, the translator is happy because uh, the money goes to the translator sometimes uh, not so much and we were thinking about things uh, that would uh, allow it to have some sort of uh, stable income and uh, but instead we went and uh, start uh, doing our own um, our own uh, interface for BitShares and uh, that also started as a translation project because uh, BitShares didn't have a Russian interface at the time. And uh, 
uh, we were approached uh, by uh, tests uh, who said like uh, you guys are uh, working on this maybe you want to do Russian tr translation and we said yeah sure and uh, then uh, after we did that, we thought, okay, we have uh, this interface translation, we could probably uh, create our own uh, interface, uh, and uh, uh, we had a lot of ideas about what we want to see on uh, chairs, and uh, uh, that way we uh, had an ability to fill all of them. Uh, for example, one of the things that, um, that we have that's different from uh standard chairs is uh, our um telegram based troll bo uh, troll box that um uh we have a uh sandboxed iframe e with the uh chat bro we were uh a lot of people say that was a security problem and we uh uh spent a lot of time to uh safeguard uh, this uh, at some point we were considering maybe uh, seeing if there's uh, code for chat bro and forking uh, our own so we uh, would uh, know that um, it's uh, safe enough because you know uh, when you are do uh, dealing with a crypto uh, wallet that uh, is uh, bchairs dex uh, essentially uh, you can't have too much security um, anyway, uh, one of the things that we uh, always wanted is a, uh, um, a Ruble MPA, and we created it and gave it to, um, I'm sorry, uh, to, to the committee, so uh, it's uh, now an official uh, Ruble currency MPA uh, of the BitShares and uh, all the Mm, all the uh, feeds for price feeds for it are uh, provided by uh, by producing witnesses, and uh, also uh, after that, uh, since we position ourselves as a uh, uh, graphene ambassadors uh, for a Russian speaking audience, we uh, also will, uh, worked and uh, talked with communities of. Uh, uh, peer plays of uh, news of Goas and of Steam and BitShares itself and created um, and created uh, zero uh, percent market fee gateways that uh, allow uh, people to trade their uh, their tokens and exchange their tokens from uh, graphene based networks uh, uh, without uh, any friction other than paying uh, the minuscule uh, bitchers uh, commissions. And uh, that is made possible uh, because we don't have any, uh, any investors that we uh, have a, uh, that we have any responsibilities in uh, turning a profit and uh, something like that. And also uh, that um, we are, uh, we have an active witness in all of the, uh, those uh, uh, networks, and uh, in BitShares we have, we're a producing witness, in PewPlays and in News we're a producing witness, and uh, in Steam and Golos we, uh, uh, in Golos we are in top 20, uh, which is maybe one or two uh, percent, or I don't know, um, several... Mm, hundred thousand or like millions of, of uh, uh, vests away from being a top uh, 90 witness uh, and producing a block every round but uh, even even without being there we're still close to the top and uh, on steam currently we've been running witness since uh, since spring I think it was late uh, March or early April when we uh, when we announced uh, the launch of our witness, and uh, uh, we uh, are still not in top 50, so if you want to vote for a witness to support whatever uh, what we are doing, uh, you'll have to uh, input uh, uh, the witness name in the 
in the field uh, for voting for novel top witnesses, and the witness name is block chain uh, like block chain ed, and um, hopefully we uh, consider that uh, uh, most likely. Uh, if uh, enough people vote for us, we hope to be maybe like 30 uh, and maybe eventually make it into the uh, into the top, but uh, top 30 would be nice and uh, I think it would be uh, enough to allow us to accelerate what, what we're doing by quite a bit. Uh, and next up uh, in the things that we are uh, planning to do. We are currently tinkering with uh, uh, with Ethereum nodes. Uh, to we have to run one to uh, be able to uh, gate uh, uh, ERC twenty tokens. And uh, our uh, our first uh, ERC twenty token uh, once we have that uh, operational is going to be EOS and. Uh, I'm not sure on the particulars yet, but most likely uh, uh, we'll have a 0% uh, market fee for uh, EOS token only, uh, because at some point it's going to be a graphene based token, and uh, uh, once that uh, that happens, uh, we'll um, uh, we'll create a uh, a gateway for EOS. Uh, because we think that uh, having BitShares as a uh, premier platform for uh, EOS tokens and uh, all the tokens created on EOS uh, is achievable and, uh, well, uh, it's actually desirable um, because, as far as I know, uh, there are projects on creating DEXs on EOS itself but uh, we have uh, the positioning uh, to be first such uh, uh, such uh, DAX without uh, actually porting to EOS uh, because graphene chains have an ability to you know sidechain to each other and hopefully uh, within the next half a year or so uh, teams on EOS and uh, uh, other chains would uh, realize the tools to allow that um, and do all the research required for that. Um, next up, we are mm, probably going to try and uh, backport um, a scroll functionality from uh, from Steam into Witchers, uh, and we have a team of people who. Uh, can work on that, and uh, possibly um, as soon as we are uh, sure that yeah that's uh, feasible for us uh, in, in short term, uh, we'll create a working proposal uh, for that. If no one beats us uh, to that, uh, because escrow functionality would uh, allow uh, creation of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, gating. Uh, so you'll you'll have something called uh, something along uh, the lines of uh, local bitcoins, except uh, local bitcoins are a decentralized service uh, that allows peer-to-peer -peer, uh, exchanges uh, of bitcoins. But um, uh, we were uh, researching using the uh, multi-sig uh, schemes for that, uh, and uh, decided that. While it's possible, it's still a bit, you know, clunky. Uh, that's why we're not. Uh, we kind of uh, shifted it uh, some sometime into the future once uh, the tools that allow uh, more elegant, uh, more elegant solution uh, are in place. Uh, and uh, well, that's that's probably it. If you have any questions, uh, oh yeah, another thing is hopefully if you are going to Steamfest, uh, uh, you'll be able to see me if uh, I get uh, uh, my visa done in a timely manner, uh, because if uh, it's uh, 
it happens, I'll uh, go to Steam Fest and uh, do a presentation there. But I don't know in maybe a week or week and a half. Okay, uh, Xenox. There's there are some other projects which are based on graphene, like uh, Descent. Um, maybe you, will it will work also for them, like uh, the the exchange. Uh, yeah, we we've translated a lot of text for them, and uh, uh, we we are planning to have a uh, Descent uh, uh, gateway. Uh, also uh, powered by uh, being a uh, witness on Descent Network, uh, but uh, it's probably going to be after um, after an ERC20 gateway. Uh, since uh, it's not that hard to create uh, gateways for graphene-based uh, uh, systems for us, it might happen before uh, just a 20 gateway, but uh, I'm not sure on the on the timeline. Mm. But yeah, that's uh, uh, that's in our plans. And if you uh, are launching a graphene-based network uh, um, and uh, you have a uh, solid uh, community and a solid uh, business case for uh, use of blockchain and are looking to be listed, uh, we are uh, open to uh, providing gateways to the DEX because uh, as far as uh, we are concerned, uh, DEX is uh, the thing that uh, is there to tie all the graphene-based uh, chains together. Uh, and yeah, any other chains as well, but uh, uh, we first look for uh, several things. One of them is um, if the blockchain in question has any sort of governance uh, solutions. So uh, you can in the future expect uh, to see maybe Decred or I don't know, Dash uh, or uh, yeah. And the second thing is uh, privacy centric blockchains. Uh, that's something that we really like. So uh, Dash, Monero, uh, Zcash, uh, I don't know, Tvax, or well, uh, whatever are the chains that have that functionality, we are looking into uh, creation, but that's uh, probably going to be in uh, 2018, maybe earlier, but uh, uh, we are, uh, our idea is that we want to move at the pace uh, that's comfortable for us and uh, mm, so we are uh, sort of you know when it's done uh, things there are no ATAs uh, but uh, for graphing based chains it's maybe like a week or two takes us about a week or two uh, to set up the infrastructure for that and uh, another week or two to test that and uh, release into the uh, into the public, and uh, then another couple of weeks to uh, do a public testing before we send uh, the code upstream so it can be included into the uh, reference wallet and into any other uh, the chairs based uh, interfaces. Okay, that's very cool. And then, so if you would upvote something which actually belongs on a descent network on any other graphene based, uh, like your music or something, then those gateways could be like configured to uh, send the money on or something like that? Uh, you'll still have to do it via BitShares. You uh, send your money to, uh, for example, Descent Gateway on, uh, on BitShares. You get through uh, the Descent tokens and or whatever they're going to be called. Uh, then you go and exchange them um, for I don't know, Woodix Muse tokens and can uh, then send them to Muse network. Uh, and uh, the thing is, since there are zero uh, market fees, we're not uh, actually uh, taking any uh, money from from those trades. Uh, we only, uh, and since most, uh, most graphene based blockchains don't have uh, sending or seeing fees or transaction fees, uh, uh, we uh, we have zero transaction fees to uh, to send money 
uh, this way or that, and uh, even with beaches and uh, peer plays that have those transaction fees, uh, since we are uh, getting paid by the blockchain uh, and the uh, volume on uh, on those uh, uh, movements uh, is offset by those payments, so we are uh, able to afford uh, that. Um, there are minimum uh, amounts that uh, we process, uh, uh, but uh, you know it's still um, it's still pretty friction free frictionless for you if uh, uh, if you are sending well, uh, money from one blockchain to another, uh, but uh, it still requires people willing to. Uh, to trade, uh, well, uh, maybe um, depending on how uh, how uh, um, liquid uh, the market is, uh, uh, it may be best if you do like uh, you take your decent tokens, sell uh, them for bid shares, and then buy uh, used tokens for bid shares. Uh, but uh, still. Uh, and yeah, one of the things that the community can help us with okay. is uh, I, doing the, Alex, really quickly. Yeah. I can give you about twenty more seconds if that's okay. But we're yeah, okay, a little no bit problem. over the fifteen minutes. But you're more than welcome to join up every week and give us a status as well. Yeah, sure, cool. Uh, so one of the things that you can help us with is uh, market making. If you have a lot of uh, tokens for one of those chains. Uh, you are welcome to come and uh, provide the liquidity for them. Mm, yeah. Also, vote for our witnesses on uh, all those networks. Uh, we are looking for votes on Steam, and uh, in the chat here, uh, there were details about that. Yeah, thank you for having me. Well, thank you, Xanox. And if people want to reach out to you guys and ask you any questions, or heck, maybe they know of... Um of a chain or a graphene based chain or something similar like a BitShares 1.0 based kind of chain, a graphene 1.0 chain. How would they uh, reach out to you and contact you to, to let you know about all this stuff? Our, um, you can uh, leave comments on our Steam uh, blog. Uh, you could also contact us our, on, on uh, Telegram. We have a really heavy presence on Telegram with uh, several uh, uh, several groups for uh, all the those graphene chains. So we have Peer Plays Woo, uh, EOS Woo, we have uh, Beachers, Dax Woo, uh, and all of them. Uh, Ails, uh, Ail, yeah, I think, yeah, in, in the chat here is the links to the most to them. Good. And thank you very much, everybody, for joining up to these Hangouts and participating in them. Um, thank you, Xanox, for joining up to provide all this information. You see, these are things that a lot of people uh, do not know about, and they should. And this is one of the means of us getting this information out in a way that is open and transparent. And I just want to urge everyone here who is part of these and those of you who are listening uh, to, to consider. We have 2,500 listens just on SoundCloud uh, a week, so we have people out there who are paying attention and listening to us as well. Uh, if you're a listener and you're not, or you're in here, please consider if there's a project that really seems like it's going to bring value to your stake uh, and that you think that you could add value to them and give them a little bit of help in any way, shape, or form. It does not have to be all, always money. Uh, this is the space of disruption. The disruption comes from creation and innovation. So innovate and use your own value propositions to uplift and support these valuable projects because without these projects, we're kind of standing still in the water. Um, and it's really important. It's really important to help them. And I know that I don't always do it perfectly, but I, I will say this. Just always try, if you can, if there's a project that seems valuable to you, even if it's just one or two minutes to share something every week. It's something that they might not otherwise have.